Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your girl, Asia. You're now tuned into We React TV. Coming at you with a movie review. All right? This is my first movie review, and it's very kind of late. You know, I've been busy. I've been trying to get it up. And um, a lot been going on. been trying to catch up on my reaction videos, so on and so forth. But um, but this is my first uh, movie review, and... Um, that's another thing I will be doing on my channel is movie reviews, okay? And I might even do TV show reviews as well for new TV shows or whatnot. Uh, this review is for the movie Bad Boys for Life, okay? The third installment of the Bad Boys franchise. Um, now, I love the first Bad Boys. I love the second one. And the third one... Um, I know for this franchise they has gaps, big gaps in between, but I tell you this right now, I I had I had faith in the movie. I had faith in Will Smith and Martin Lawrence for this movie, like no doubt. Um I was uh I wasn't sure well one of the uh trailers that I reacted to or saw, um, it's one of the plots I think that Somebody was trying to kill uh, Will Smith's character, Mike Larry. Um, you know, didn't know what else to expect in the movie. Um, how the plot was, how else the plot was going to go, and so on and so forth. Um, will the original people be coming back or not? Um, but I tell you one thing. They totally came through with this movie. That movie was great. Okay, um, there's things in that movie that I did not expect or did not see coming at all. Um, for them to have this long hiatus and come back with this movie, they done well with it. Like, the action, the acting, the emotions, like, the plot, just everything was great. And I was just like, it was just good. But uh, before I even go any further... Um, fair warning, spoilers, I mean, the movie has been out, well, I think it's still in theaters, if I'm not mistaken, I think it still is, but it came out January 17th, and it's almost the end of February, so, if you not have seen it, and, you know what I'm saying, have you, if you have not seen it in theaters, and you waited for it to come on video on demand or DVD and stuff like that, um, there's gonna be spoilers, so I suggest you not watch this video. If you haven't seen it yet, okay? But yeah, um, so, so pretty much the beginning of the movie, um, I ain't gonna lie, when I went to the theaters, I was just a little bit behind, so I'm hoping I didn't miss anything else in the beginning, but from what I, when I got in there, uh, I, I'm assuming it was the beginning of Marcus and Mike Larry. In the car together, of course, in Mark Larry's uh, lovely Porsche, uh, always with the fast Porsche cars. Um, they were just speeding to a destination. I don't know where they was going, but but soon when we found out, they were getting to a hospital because Marcus' daughter was having a baby. And believe it or not, <laughs> the girl that I thought in the trailer reaction that I did, that Marcus was uh, dancing with at a wedding. I had a feeling it was his daughter. But I wasn't sure if it was an original girl. But as I looked at that lady in the hospital bed, I was like, oh my gosh. That is the girl from the last movie. Like, I was just amazed. Like, they was able to get her. <laughs> you know? And I like when movies, when they do sequels or stuff like that, I love it how they were able to bring in the original people, you know, and the funny thing about that whole scene too, is when I believe Marcus said the name Reggie, and when my man said Reggie, I was just like, I know they ain't talking about Reggie, Reggie. <laughs> I know they're not talking about Reggie from Bad Boys Two that <laughs> Will Smith was scared <laughs> because it was taken. His daughter out on his first date, bro. Like, and it was him. 
Man, that was such a good thing to see. So, from that first date, they steady dating, and then they get married, and they had a child together, which is beautiful. It was also funny, too, to see <laughs> my bad Marcus, uh, Mark Lawrence character, Marcus, getting emotional having to bathe his grandson in his arms. <laughs> I just thought it was wild. I just thought it was wild. Um... And of course, um, throughout the movie, um, moving on, of course, Mike Larry was going to continue to be a cop. Marcus was on his way out the door, actually doing retirement. He was actually going forth and doing retirement, you know. Um, and when, I think, that's right, they was uh, having a celebration, um, I believe it was because of Marcus retirement, I believe, of course. Um, and Will Smith and Martin's characters uh, decided to do a little race with each other outside of the uh, venue that they was throwing a uh, celebration at. Um, as they were running and so forth, of course, uh, Will Smith was winning. We already knew that was going to happen. Uh, not to go on. Martin Lawrence like that, but I'm just saying. Um, but that scene right there, next thing you know, they shot Will Smith's character, man. I was just like, oh my gosh, we we didn't expect that. I was like, wow, so somebody trying to kill Mike Larry? I was just, I was just amazed at that, man. And then, um... And then just seeing Sam Marcus um, being in the hospital with him, make sure he cool, taking care of him, putting the uh, just for men on his <laughs> goats. <laughs> oh man, that's some good stuff right there, man. Um, but yeah, also too, um, at that point we didn't know who the character was that killed, that well not killed, but shot at Mike Larry. Um, but we did find out that he he was the son of a lady that uh, that broke out of jail. Um, that was getting revenge on Mike Larry. For some reason, we still did not know what the whole case was with that. Um, now... Of course, uh, Marcus is doing the whole retirement thing, retiring. He's he's fully there in retirement. He ain't trying to come back. He's trying to, you know, he's done with being a cop. He's he's pretty much, he was trying to better himself. He's trying, like, through, if you've seen Bad Boys 1 and 2, you will see the development of Marcus um, trying to be better. He's really trying to be better. Like, no more with the violence try to be uh with peace um you know do good by the lord and all that good stuff right and so when mike larry fully recovered he came to marcus tell him like help me man like help me take down this person that tried to kill me like that wasn't sitting well with mike at all somebody tried to kill him and He's, he's known to be bulletproof. Like, nobody could get him. He's the one taking out the people. You know what I'm saying? And he was begging his partner, Marcus, come help me. Come back on one last time. Bad boys for life. Like, one more time. And when it came to that scene right there with them in the kitchen, like, when I tell you the emotions in that damn scene, like, took me by surprise. With them two characters... With them two actors, like, for real. I was just like, oh my goodness. Like, <laughs> like they did their drink so well. Like, you would have thought they, they meant that shit for real. Like, it was it was amazing to me. Like, I didn't expect that at all. And But Marcus said, no. He's not doing it no more. Like, he, he's done. And, of course, Mike was a little upset about that. But you got to understand, Marcus... You know what I'm saying? His reasoning on why he's just done with it. Like, you know, but you also 
can kind of understand Mike's reasoning for wanting his partner to come help him find the guy to try to kill him. You know, it is what it is. But Mike stayed on trying to find the people who hunt him down, you know, so on and so forth. Um, you know, and, you know, I'm not going to go through every, everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to give you bits and pieces that really got me this movie. Like, the action in this movie was just was just great. Like, I, it was, it was right on point. Like, they did a hell of a job. I'll tell you that right now. Um, the scene where Mike was with Captain. This right here was the shocker that I did not see coming at all in this movie. Is when Mike was with Cat. Cat was at his daughter's, I believe his daughter's basketball game. You know, and Mike and Cat was talking, blah, blah, blah. They was walking to his car. And next thing you know, out of nowhere, Cat got shot. I was just like, <laughs> I was just stunned, y'all. Like, from watching this man <laughs> from Bad Boys 1, 2, and then 3, you know what I'm saying? Kirking off on Mike and Marcus. Like, just being that character. He wound up dying. I was just like, oh, so that's the end of Cap. I was like, that, that right there was such of a shocker. I, I just didn't know what to do. I was, I was just stunned. I was just like, they killed off the captain. They killed off the captain. I was like, oh my god. But, um, I want to say from that point, I think Marcus job jumped back on somewhat on that point. I mean, you killed the captain. It's just like, hold up, bro. <laughs> like, you but. Like, at this point, like, you try to kill my partner, best friend, and then you killed the captain. Like, it, like you had to jump back on on that one right there. Um, let me see what else. Um, you know, um, so, the lady that Mike had a thing with, you know what I'm saying, became, well, she was on another division at the time, ammo, but towards the end of the movie, she became captain, of course. Um, but yeah, uh, Mike was uh, joining a new division called ammo. It was a group of, you know, they dealt with weapons. They knew about weapons, technology, different ways to like, you know, you know what I'm saying, with weapons, like upgrade weapons and stuff like that, dealt with drones and stuff like that. Um, so this group of people were young, of course, they were young, you know, it was a new generation, which was a good thing to have, you know what I'm saying, you got the old school, and then you got the new, like, I think that's a good way to bring things together, like, sometimes you need some, you know what I'm saying, some, um, wisdom, and then sometimes you might take them to a little different approach on some things, you know, bring those combinations together, it could work out. And the characters, <laughs> the young characters, they had my girl, um, why am I forgetting her name? I'm so sorry, but of course y'all know her from High School Musical. How can you not? You know, um, yeah, but, um, I enjoyed the new characters that they had. And, yeah. So, so on, going on, um. So pretty much, going down the line, we finally find out, like, we finally find out who the woman was and who the guy was that shot, shot Mike. Come to find out, in Mike's rookie years, he was undercover. He did an undercover job. And fell in love with one of the people that that were being watched in this undercover mission. 
and Mike. Yep, Mike. And then when he when Mike was telling Marcus the whole story in the history, and come to find out that he was in love with the woman, I was like, Mike Larry was once in love because you know Mike don't fall in love with nobody. <laughs> he don't fall in love with no woman. <laughs> So that was a shock to me. I said that was another good, another good twist in this plot of the movie. It's like, oh, so y'all gonna bring some like a story like that, some history. I was like, okay, okay. I said I like this a lot. So, come to find out, Mike had a thing with the lady that he went undercover to get intel on to put away. Um, her husband or some stuff like that. They fell in love with each other. They had plans to run away. Stuff like that. And while they were together, she became pregnant when she went to jail. Okay? Come to find out, the guy that shot Mike is his son. Bruh. <laughs> I'll tell you, that, that was some good stuff right there, man. That was some good stuff. That was some good stuff right there. Um, but all in all, y'all, um, the action for this movie was on point. Um, Martin Lawrence was still on point with his funniness. The chemistry between Will Smith and Martin was still on point. You know, at the end, of course, they, the mother died because she was just nuts. For for real though, she was nuts. Um, but they let the son live. Mike let the son live, but he had to go to jail and serve his time. He killed he killed people, bro, so he had to go serve his time. He Mike couldn't help him out on that one right there. He kept you alive, but he couldn't let you go free. You had to serve your time. You know what I mean? And like I said, the lady that uh, was in charge of ammo division became the captain now, and. You know, it was, it was like, all in all, the whole movie was great. The whole movie was great. I was just, I was very, I had, I had faith in the movie, but I was really impressed through the whole movie of like what they was able to do, what they was able to do. It was, it was really great. It was really great. Um, but at the end of the movie, I was also surprised. Now this is a big spoiler. Of course, I was really surprised that they had a post credit clip of Mike Larry going to the cell where his son was locked up, and he told his son that he can decrease his time if he was to join, you know what I'm saying, help him out on police work. So, from watching that right there, there's going to be a continuance of the, it's going to be a continuance of Bad Boy. Now, the only thing that I have questions of, will Martin Lawrence still be a part of it? Because, you know what I'm saying, Will Smith was already on board with this third installment of Bad Boy. The only person that was a little late on joining on was Martin Lawrence. You know what I mean? And he did a hell of a job when he came on to do the movie. He did great. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just not sure, like, if he's still going to be a part of it. Or will the sequel continue on to be about Mike Lurie and his son working together? That is the question. You know? And from reading information, um, it will not be a long hiatus for the next movie to come out. You know? And believe it or not, they've done, they made money off this movie. Like, they did good. Like, you know what I'm saying? The Bad Boy movie was supposed to be like a blockbuster summer. You know what I'm saying? Summertime's right. But they decided to bring it out in January. You know what I'm saying? On a different holiday. You know? But, hey, it did very well. You know, it made its budget back plus more. So, I say kudos to them. <laughs> kudos to Sony and, you know, <laughs> all right.
You know, but um, I can't wait to see what they have next in stores for Bad Boys. I really cannot. Because I did like the whole idea. I do like the whole idea of it being Mike, Larry, and his son partnering up together. You know, hopefully we see the same crew from Ammo, which would be great because I actually like them. <laughs> I actually like those characters, you know. Um, but also if Martin Lawrence decided to go along again for another one, I'm happy about it as well, you know. Um, but yeah, uh, pretty much that's all I got for the movie review of Bad Boys for Life, the third installment. Um, yeah, you know, sometimes mine probably, uh, blanking out here on what I saw and all that other stuff, but I pretty much got a nice majority of what was big in the movie, you know. But, um, please let me know in the comment section if y'all saw the movie, what did y'all think? Um, do y'all think it would be okay for it to just be, you know what I'm saying, Will Smith and the guy that plays his son to be part of or would you still like to see Will Smith and uh, Martin Lawrence still do it along with the guy that's playing Mike, uh, Will Smith's son in the movie? You know? Um, overall, what do you give the rating of the movie? Just give me a, a, you know, your opinion about the movie if you saw it, okay? Um, but yeah, that's all I got for y'all. Um, I'm going to get up out of here. So I keep on giving you movie reviews. And reaction videos and so on and so forth y'all um i want to thank you for stopping by okay this is your girl asia we react tv catch you next time peace